In this video, we'll be installing Postgres on an EC2 server. The operating system we'll be using this course is Ubuntu. However, it doesn't matter the operating system that you choose, the configuration are pretty much the same. So from your search, you can search for EC2, right? So let's select EC2 from services. To create a server, you need to select launch instance and from the drop down, select launch instance again. Here, in the name section, you're going to be specifying a name for your server. So I'm going to be calling this Postgres-DB. Now under the application and OS image section, you're going to select Ubuntu. If you're familiar with Windows and you want to work with Windows, then you can go ahead and select Microsoft Windows, right? However, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to select Ubuntu. I'll be keeping the Amazon machine image which is selected by default, so we can benefit from the free tier. For the architecture, I'm going to leave it as 64-bit. And for the instance type, I'm going to leave it as t2.micro. Now for the key pair, you're going to select create new key pair. Specify a name for your key pair. So I'm just calling mine postgres-udemy. Now for the key pair type, we can keep the default as RSA. Now for the private key format, we're going to be going with TPK because we're going to be using PuTTY to connect to the server. In the future, if you want to connect with a program like FileZilla or WinSCP, then you can convert your PPK to a .pem file. So I'm going to select that .ppk. This is what we'll be using to authenticate to the server. You'll see later on, right? So select Create Key Pair. So it was downloaded to my Downloads folder. Now for the network settings, select Existing and select the one which was created while you were creating your database. For configure storage, we are going to be keeping the default. The number of instances we want to create is 1, right? So as you can see, we will benefit from the free tier. So in your first year, it includes 750 hours of the t2.micro or t3.micro in the region which the t2.micro is unavailable, right? So instance usage on free tier AMIs per month is 30 GB of EBS storage and 2 million IOs. 1 GB of snapshot and 100 GB of bandwidth to the internet. So this will be sufficient for this course. So we're going to select launch here. So let's select instance to go back to the instances. So it was created already and it's running successfully. So in order for us to be able to connect to the server, we must add our IP to the firewall group. So select the instance ID, select security, scroll over to where it says default security group. So here I'm going to select the default security group. Now on the inbound rule section, I'm going to add my current IP. So I'm going to select edit inbound rules. This is essential in order for you to connect to the server. If, so I'm going to add rule, right? I want to add a SSH because we'll be connecting using PuTTY. Now from the source, I'm going to select my IP and then I'm going to select save rules. So basically this was saying that my IP already exists, so that's fine. So let me cancel that, right? So the next step is for you to download PuTTY from the internet and install it. So just select download. You can download the version that works best for you, right? Once you download it, you install it. So I'm just going to go back to my console. I'm going to go back to the instances and grab my public IP so I can connect to the server. So here I'm going to grab my public IP by selecting this icon to do a copy. So here I'm going to specify the IP and I want to save my session so each time I don't have to specify the IP. So I'm just going to name this session udemy-postgres. Now I select save. However, we are not done yet. In order to connect, we need to use the ppk file that we downloaded. So under connection, expand ssh, expand authority and then select credential. And then you're going to browse for the ppk file. So you can see that I have my postgres-udemy file. So I'm going to select open here. And then before I hit open, I'm going to go back, right? And then save. So each time I open PuTTY, I can just open Postgres without going back to, to add the credential. So let's select open. Now let's accept. And the default user is Ubuntu. So as you can see, I was successfully logged into my database server. Now the next step is to install Ubuntu on the server. So I'm going to maximize this here. I'm going to go to my documentation for the installation. 
let's minimize that so i'll be using this documentation here from digital Hotion, right so first we are going to run the sudo apt update this will take a few minutes to complete now the next step is to install the postgres contrib so let's grab this command i'll leave this documentation in the resource section of this video select yes to continue so the next step is to switch user to the postgres user if you're supposed to type the psql command you should be able to connect to the database so i'm just going to run a quick query to ensure everything is working fine okay, so what i did just now is to check the activities on the database by executing this command select asterisk from pg underscore stats underscore activity in the next lecture we'll be installing pg admin which is a native administrative tool for postgres databases